hello viewers on the last video i have shared uh, the explanation until here until they strongly disagree strongly agree so after finish they strongly agree so uh, in my in my spss file if you can see now only remaining is agree 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 so we are going to find out one by one agree we write down here only agree so 205 replacement made already here 184 and here already made okay so in the in the last video i have explained to uh, you one by one the first process why should you uh, search for the strongly agree before agree or why sh why should you search for the dis uh, strongly disagree before disagree so if you want to see the beginning uh, beginning of my explanation and more details please watch the previous video and we are going to proceed to the next process so after finishing this one now you can see that we are uh, like almost done in terms of transferring the information uh, coding the data so if you look it here we have total five variables uh, if you look the last video you can see uh, for the demographic factors we have taken gender and race and for the another three items we have taken for liquid type scale so now we are going to name the variable and we are going to put the value of the variable so now we we have to go back to our question here again to follow the name of the variable and the options please follow the process step by step to make sure we don't do any mistake because data is very important for our research okay then for these three items uh, for instance we can say uh, first item is uh, item one item two so later on you can name uh, based on your variable item three sorry uh, it's item three so now if you want to make it a uh, numeric straight away you can make it but in previous video i explained that why you should not make the make this numeric when you copy and paste only you have to make some adjustment make it compatible with your spss then only you can make it numeric otherwise your uh, information will be disappeared straight away so now we can make it uh, numeric not an issue even even we can uh, let's check uh, we make the gender numeric can we go to the data view you see nothing disappeared all the data all the information are here because we already follow the process but if, if you make it numeric before this so your uh, information will be disappeared then you have to take uh, you have to go to the excel and copy and paste again uh, the, the, it will it will create the trouble for you and there is a possibility that you are going to do the mistake so after this uh, we have to put the value the only important for remaining is value so value we have to follow the questionnaire here based on the questionnaire we put the value the first one is uh, first one we put the uh, we already put the value uh, sorry first one is uh, male and well so uh, for the gender it is done and for the uh, for the race we go first one malay second one chinese and third one indian and number four we can put others okay and for the next one uh, this will be uh, number one is strongly strongly disagree number two i'm i'm following this please make sure you also follow your questionnaire when you change the value make sure you do not do any mistake if you do the mistake one time then you have to do many times okay if you change the things then it is not easy number three neutral many of us we want to do it fast but we do mistakes yeah you can try to do it fast if you really can but make sure you do not make any mistakes number five is a strongly agree okay so our value for this one done so how about this two if you have many items just follow this process very easy very fast
you just choose like this one by one one by one if you have 20 you choose copy and paste okay then after the only remaining thing is we have to make the scale for example gender gender is nominal we all know that race also nominal and this one is a scale Likert type scale 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 so that's all the basic about spss file so we have done it if you want to make it uh, like uh, compatible for your uh, structural equation modeling pls or amos so you we have to then transfer or convert the file into csv you can do it usually for sps uh, for pls or amos we choose this file yeah for the pls we choose this file csv file so we can transfer into csv after that you save to the location so this is the this is the basic and faster way how we can transfer the google doc question a to spss file so if you have any inquiry if you have any inquiry about this video or if you have any inquiry if you have any request that you want me to make the video for you in the future please put in the comment box write down in the comment box and let me know your opinion about this video and if you find any mistakes any any faults that could be could happen because we are all human but at least i have tried my best to make it easy for you as easy as possible thank you so much for watching my video and I wish you good luck. Thank you very much again.